Presently, 71 armored regiments of the Indian Army are equipped with 2,418 T-72 comprising 754 T-72 ME4 and 1,664 T-72 ME6. The 37-ton T-72M, Object 172 ME4, are each powered by a V46 680 horsepower diesel engine that offers a power to weight ratio of 20 horsepower per ton. The 41.5 ton T72M 1982, Object 172 ME6, are each powered by an 840 horsepower V84 MS diesel engine, has a power to weight ratio of 21 horsepower per ton. The upgraded D-72 MS-43.5 ton T-72 Combat Improved Agair, CIA, have a power-to-weight ratio of 17.80 horsepower per ton. T-72 upgrade is being conceptualized by HVF and 505 ABW to increase the service from 32 to 45 years, up to 2040s. This inherently caters for the delay in induction of FRCV. T-72 fleet to be bifurcated into two categories, T-72U and T-72 not upgraded. The Indian Army plans to upgrade 1,000 T-72, each costing hours. 9 crores, with new V-92S2 engine, era MK.2 era tiles, TIFCs, panoramic thermal imaging sites, an APU detection and suppression system, IFTS. CVT has also contracted the Alican Group for building all aluminium road wheels for not only the Arjun MK1A, but also for the ES existing T-72M. Similarly, the first 310 Object 188 ST90S MBTs are up for a midlife upgrade as well. Last month the Parliament was informed that our John Mark 1A was being validated at trials. As reported earlier, Diario and Ia had agreed on accepting the new version, the Army is looking to have 118 pieces. A total of 93 modifications have been done over the first version of our John, 124 of which were inducted in 2010-11. The tanks, as part of the trials, had already done some 4,000 kilometers of run and only the upgrades were being tested now. In past, over 75% of Arjun MKIMBTs remains grounded due to various technical problems and as a result of missing spare parts. As part of the arrangement with the Army, DRDO is now procuring spares for Arjun MBT MK1. DRDO has promised to set up a system to maintain the Arjuns within India. It will be an annual maintenance contract with the Bharat Earth Movers Limited BML, as a possible agency. Meanwhile, DRDO is also working on structurally improved and weight optimized Arjun MK2. The prototype will have reconfigured hull, turret, tracks composite hatches etc. Kvt also working on weight optimized 1500 horsepower engine for it. Diario is also working on full and semi trailer for transportation of MBT Arjun MK2, payload, of 70 ton weight class. It will be used for transportation of medium, heavy tanks and other heavy equipment and will be capable of operating on all types of metalled, unmetalled slash gravelled tracks existing in plains and desert terrain of our country. Meanwhile Iowa has issued RFI for procuring 350 ton trailers for medium weight class tanks. The DAC has also given approval for the procurement of armored recovery vehicles, ARVs, for the Arjun MBT. 24 Arjun ARRVs being ordered from HVF and Bimal for delivery by 2021. The Arjun ARRVs will support the two Arjun MK1 and two Arjun MK1E regiments that will be permanently deployed in Rajasthan. While upgraded D-72M and T-90S MBTs will be used in the plains of Punjab as well as elsewhere in Jammu and Kashmir and the northeast. As for the lightweight category, the Ministry of Defence, MOD, has decided to put FIC under the Make 2 category. Under the Make 2 category, no funding is required from the MOD, 
Unlike the make category, where the ministry has to provide 90% of funds up to the prototype stage. Meanwhile, OFB has already completed the preliminary design of FICF. Development of subsystems will be completed within a year and first prototype for internal evaluation is scheduled to be manufactured by December 2019.